Hey there, welcome to another friendly psychologist vlog from your friendly neighborhood psychologist, Dr. Chatters. It's been wonderful to have read your comments and seen the number of likes, seen the fact that you're sharing my videos and I'm really grateful to all of you for doing so. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time on the various types of quotients that exist in this wonderful piece of machinery that God has blessed us with. Till about maybe 10 years ago, people were focusing a lot on something called IQ, which is the intelligence quotient. And you were asked to take all kinds of tests, especially the Mensa IQ test, which was supposed to be the barometer of how intelligent you were. Then maybe 10, 20 years back, people started discovering that there's something else called EQ. And now there's a lot of talk about EQ in our society amongst young people, amongst children, amongst elderly people, amongst professional CEOs, directors, and EQ stands for emotional quotient, which basically deals with intrapersonal intelligence and interpersonal intelligence. However, what people don't realize is that there are a few more of these quotients that exist in each person, in either a bigger margin or a lesser margin. And the other three are what we like to call the adversity quotient, which basically deals with how a person uh, handles themselves in a situation which is adverse. So it deals with the naturalistic intelligences and the body kinesthetic intelligences. Then there's CQ, which is the creativity quotient. And uh, the creativity quotient deals with visual spatial intelligence and, uh, you know, um, musical intelligence. And then there's the spirituality quotient, which basically deals with existential intelligence. Most psychologists the world over would agree uh, to a fault that IQ covers only about 20% of the entire pie chart, thereby leaving about 80% to the other forces, which are known as of now. And uh, a lot of other psychologists also argue that uh, SQ or spirituality or spiritual quotient is basically existential intelligence and it lays the framework and foundation for all the other intelligences. And uh, while uh, there are varying opinions and varying theories about this, this is uh, something which is commonly agreed amongst most psychologists. And then of course, as I mentioned, that EQ basically deals with a person's ability to manage their relationships, to understand uh, uh, emotional intelligence of another person as well as oneself and to uh, create a better grasp of, uh, you know, of, the, of the interpersonal relationships or managing people and the challenges that come with those people. Uh, IQ, of course, is very obvious and deals with uh, logical, mathematical and linguistic intelligences, the ability to retain, grasp and recall factual knowledge. I've already said that adversity quotient deals with the ability of how one reacts in a situation which is not favorable. And that is something which is very, very interesting because we haven't done much work on this as, as a professional body. And as I speak to all of you, there are a lot of people who are working on this all over the world. And I'm sure that by the time I publish this video, there probably will be someone who has come out with some new kind of intelligence quotient or some new kind of quotient. So this field is a rapidly growing field. And as of now, we know about five, which is intelligence quotient, deals with the ability to retain and grasp the factual knowledge. There's emotional quotient, which deals with the ability to manage people and the relationships better. There's adversity quotient, which deals with how a person faces challenges. Do you take challenges head on or do you uh, find them a little difficult to manage and tend to shy away from them? That's adversity quotient. Then there's creativity quotient, which is basically to deal with visual, spatial and musical intelligence, which means that these are the people who are very creative by nature. And therefore, this part, if it is in a more, uh, you know, a, a higher percentage rather in, in a person's brain, then obviously the creativity of that person is higher than any other person whom they are in contact with. And then there's 
spiritual intelligence or spiritual quotient which deals with existential existential intelligence and um, uh, it is the it can be argued that it is the ultimate intelligence that can add value to a person so i would say to all of uh, you who are watching this video that try to figure out what kind of percentages of quotients that you have in you do you face challenges head on which means your adversity quotient is a little higher than others if not then you know the answer uh, do you like to do things in a very creative or a very out of the box manner then your creativity quotient is higher compared to others if not again you know the answer and so on and so forth so don't just focus on iq which deals basically with the academics part of it the ability to retain and grasp factual knowledge don't just focus on the eq part of it which is only about or basically about managing people in the relationships that come with them but also try to focus on aq adversity quotient on um, cq creativity quotient and on sq uh, spiritual quotient i hope that this video helps as always i do hope that you're staying safe and there are many cities and countries across the world which are reinforcing lockdowns so i hope you stocked up for those lockdowns stay home stay safe uh, till we talk again god bless